Well, here we are on Fifth Avenue, and there's quite a few shops. There's some pretty neat stuff. You can see it. Uh, there's some guys pretty swanky dress. Oh, and uh, now we're headed off to somewhere else. Uh, where are we headed to exactly? Uh, we're going down Fifth Avenue, and we're looking at. Well, we're looking at Fifth Avenue. You're looking at the different shops. We're heading towards Trump Tower. Uh, we are. We just went by uh, Cartier, and these are shops that really not many of us have been shopping in recently. Yeah, it's, 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 it's extremely expensive. There's all sorts of expensive stuff here on uh, Fifth Avenue, and just a second. Um, Chris, stay was, in front of me. Okay, it was um, actually uh, Fifth Avenue was a trend started by um, William Henry Vanderbilt when he built his mansion on Fifth Avenue. So. Um, so a trend of all sorts of expensive stuff. Go figure. Uh, well, just want you all to see some of, how some of these buildings, their architecture, it's kind of, well, a bit old. It seems like these look entirely the old buildings. Oh. And there's some really tall buildings, and you can see that go way beyond the scope of these old and time ones. And just wanted to show you the contrast. Just gonna take a moment right now to point out the vendors. There's all sorts of vendors in uh, New York. They're everywhere. They'll, in the morning they'll like sell donuts and stuff. Afternoon they'll sell hot dogs and pretzels. And um, these things can be extremely cheap. Like like quarter for a uh, pretzel or a donut. And yeah, it's pretty neat. How all this stuff kind of happens. Well, I just figured that while we're on Fifth Avenue, might as well stop to investigate a store. Well, we stopped by the Disney store. There's all sorts of Disney themed stuff and New York themed, Disney themed stuff. So, um, yeah, great combination of the two. Um, first stop that we, first shop that we stopped at, and uh, well, we've only been able to be here for about 10 minutes, but it's still a very nice store. If you ever come to New York, make sure you check it out. It's a Disney store on Fifth Avenue. Come on. Yep, right here we have a Trump Tower. It's uh, pretty cool, Trump Tower. Made by Donald Trump himself. Or into a public Trump Tower. Pretty nice place. Uh, from what I've heard, it's well, they apprentice this film. Not, not much of a fan of apprentice myself, but still. So, oh, it has a Starbucks. Everything has a Starbucks. Okay, apparently. Okay, so yeah, this is Trump Tower. Pretty neat place. Oh, and uh, up there, there's the there's a Starbucks, as promised. Shockingly enough, they they actually delivered. That's the first. Chris, what are you doing? Thank you, documentary. Now, as we take a look, you can see that Trump Tower is only, it not only has a Starbucks, it has its own bar and, um, well, its own grill. As you can see from the G I G R I L L E, grill. Um, it's a lot of stuff. I mean, it's, it's almost like its own. It's, a, it's like a, almost like a mall and. Um, well, it's more of a display case, actually. It's, uh, it's like a museum, a hotel, and a food court combined. So, yeah, yeah, that's Trump Towers for you. Do you see the sign? The Starbucks sign? Yeah. See the coffee part? I didn't pay attention to the coffee part. How about Starbucks tea? That tea is in the trash. So, for those of you who like to drink tea, do not get tea from Starbucks. Just a warning to all of you out there. The three of you. I know who you are. And we are now leaving Trump Towers and on our way to Central Park. Very nice place. Uh, yes. So these are some people traveling with us. That's Mandy Barnes, Megan Parson, Megan Rich. Okay. And so we're on our way to Central Park. And I need to see Trevor. And um, we're on our way to Central Park, which was also known as the city's backyard. It was created in 1858 
Keep going. Just follow uh, for now. Uh, and then we can cut back over. Some guy. Um, his name's Frederick Law Olmsted. Oh, and his partner, Calvert Vox. Uh, it was originally an unpromising site of quarries, pig farms, swampland, and shacks, and they turned it into a beautiful forest. Go figure. Ah, and I'm getting cold. Now there, there's a really neat mirror building. Yes, because it's covered with mirrors. And so now we're on our way to Central Park. Okay, so uh, here I am with a um, person who works at uh, um, F A O Shores. Yes. Okay. So, um, could you give me some information about this place? F A O Schwartz. Um, this is it's one of the, the biggest, oldest toy stores in the world. It's been open since 1862, uh, which was downtown. The it was actually it was named for the founder, Frederick August Otto Schwartz, is the full name. Nice. So him and his brothers came to the country, and they all set up toy stores in different parts of the United States. But no one else's business succeeded except for Frederick. So all of his brothers joined with him under his name to make FAL. And it's been in several different locations, and it reopened. It actually closed down in 2003 because the business went bankrupt, but then revitalized itself in 2004, and it has been open ever since. Ah, well, so there you go. very informative. Thank right, you. What, what, what am I here for, after all? Have a nice day. Right here we have some break dancers. That was, uh, that was some street performers, some break dancers. That's some pretty funky, Vegas, fresh Vegas, moves, if you ask Vegas, me. Vegas. Well, uh, here we are. We're in the official NBA store. It's pretty cool, but, um, well, for someone who likes sports. Um, yeah. I, it, well, it was either this or, like, H&M, which is... Oh, hi there. Okay, there you go, Jessica. And uh, yeah, a couple other people, a couple other classmates. Um, yeah, it's it, it it it's good if you like sports. I mean, if you don't, you can just pal around in here. I'll tell you the truth, it was this or H and M, and so uh, yeah, since H and M is fashion, decided to come here. So there you have.